Hi, I'm Sean Lee with Fix and Optics, and today I wanted to briefly introduce you to the VMC-110 with the Porta 2 mount. The Porta 2 mount is an alt-azimuth mount, which means it moves back and forth, up and down, but it also has slow motion controls, so you can make very small, fine movements uh, to track uh, objects in space or on the ground or out at sea, if you want to track whales, for example. Now the Porta 2 uh, has uh, Allen wrenches in here, so you can adjust the tension up or down. You can also adjust the, uh, the adjustment for the knob, which way the knob faces compared to the telescope. Now onto the telescope itself, this is the VMC-110. It's 110 millimeters in diameter, which means it's uh, about a little over a 4 inch telescope. So between a 4 and 5. Right. So it's a hybrid uh, Maxitov schmidt cast screen design. So unlike a, a standard schmidt cast screen or a Mac, it does not have a corrector plate in the front. So see, I can stick my finger in there, there's no glass. The glass instead is in front of the secondary. Now that has a few advantages. One advantage is that the hot air, as you're observing at night, the warm air can escape. It's not trapped inside the tube, so it can cool down much faster. The other is that it's a lot lighter. Um, since there's not a lot of glass up here, there's not a lot of weight up there. Okay. And your glass is protected um, behind the secondary, so dew and other things, uh, fingerprints won't get on glass. Okay. Now, in the back here, we have our focus here. Uh, your eyepiece goes here. This is your finder scope, which comes with it. It's a red dot finder. It projects a little red dot on the, on the glass, so you can see where you're pointed. Okay. The uh, other feature that this has is if you're into photography, you can remove this adapter. It's a little long windy. Okay. And this is T thread here. So by simply getting a T adapter for your camera, whether it's a Nikon, a Canon, a Sony, whatever kind, uh, you can attach your camera directly to this and it becomes essentially a telephoto lens. Okay. Now, another nice feature is that it has a flip mirror. Okay. So this selects between the eyepiece and the camera. So if you're looking at some whales, say, and you want to take a picture of them, find them in the eyepiece, focus your focus here, then simply flip the mirror down to your camera and shoot the image. Okay. Now, the 110, like I said, is extremely portable, so when I unthread this, it comes off in my hands like that, and you can see here's the dovetail bar which went onto the, the mount. But this dovetail bar can be moved to the bottom as well. So if you want to use it on a tripod, you can see that it has a quarter 20 screw there for your standard tripod mounting. So you can use it on a, on a standard tripod in the right, that right side up position. Or leave it on the side for any side mounted mount like the Porta 2 here. Okay. Now I, I've used this scope for, for years. I've used this scope. And uh, I took it out a few weeks ago. I was looking at Saturn. And I can see the split in Saturn's rings, the Cassini division with this scope. So the optics are really fantastic, and uh, the portability is great. Uh, I would highly recommend this for beginners or people that want a portable telescope just to take wherever they, you know, wherever they go. You know, this could easily be a carry-on telescope. It fits in a small case, which we uh, Vixen sells cases for this um, and for the, the tripod as well. Um, so all around, it's a really versatile little scope, and I highly recommend it. Thank you. Have a good day.